What's up guys, this is Audit from Tech is Easy. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to share the responses of a Google form with others. So first what you've got to do is open Google Forms, then open the form whose responses you'd want to send. And after that, you can just see under responses, and this is what you're basically going to share with others. So now I'm going to show you four ways, and you can decide whichever one you prefer the most. So in the first method, what you've got to do is just click on the three dots, which are on the top right of the screen. And then you can see that it's written, add collaborators. So click on that. So basically what you're going to do over here is that you're going to give access to another email ID and then they'll be able to edit the form and also go through all the responses. So for this, under add editors, you've just got to add the email ID of the person who you want to share the responses with. So right now, I'm going to share it with my other email ID. So just click on save. So now it's saved. And after that, click on send. So over here you can see that you're going to make them an editor. And click on send. So now I'm quickly going to open Google Forms on my, on my other email ID. So now I've opened Google Forms on the email ID which is tech is easy. So you can see over here it's come tech is easy one. And you can see that the form quiz has come over here. And if I click on it, and I go to responses, three responses are here, which is the same as this. So this is the first way of sharing the responses. Now I'm going to show you the second method. So now I've gone back to the original form. Now in this method what you've got to do is click on the three dots which are over here. Then you can click on print all responses. And now what you've got to do is you've got to save it as a PDF. So under destination just click on save as PDF. So over here you can see that Three responses have come, each on a separate page, and you can see what each person has answered. And then, just click on save. So, I've saved all the responses on my laptop. And if I just open my email ID, and you can click on attach, then you'll have to open that file. So, wherever you saved it, just open it. You can see that quiz Google Forms has come here. And then over here, you can just type in the email ID to whom you want to send the form. And you can see that if I just open this PDF, you can see that all the responses have come here. So now I've gone back to the original form and I'm going to show you the third method of how to send the responses. So this is similar to the second method, but the difference is that in this, you can send all of these graphs. So, this chart, then these graphs, you can share all of that to the person. So, again, just click on the three dots, which are on the top right. Then, click on print. And the similar thing. So, over here, you can see the responses and the graphs. Now, you go to click on Control P. So, it's basically printing this. Again, the destination should be save as PDF. And here, you can see the PDF which I'm going to share. So, there are three charts. And now, just save this. And now, the same way, you can just click on attach files and attach this to this email. So, now I'm going to show you the fourth method. For this, you've got to link all the responses to a Google Sheet. So, you've just got to click on this green icon over here. It'll open Google Sheets on another tab, and here you can see all the responses. You can see the email address, the scores, etc. And now, what all you've got to do is just share the sheet to the email ID. So, now what you've got to do is just click on Share. So, I've clicked on it. And over here, again, you've just got to add the email ID 
of the person who you want to share it to. So I'll add the email ID again. And after that, click on send. So now this email ID, which is techzz1, they will get to see this form and then they can make changes, edit it, etc. So these are the four methods and I hope they helped you. Thank you for watching.